Hey KitGangers, Deva here with another exciting video. This will be a quick guide on what's new on the Full Bloom Festival and what events give you new items. Since all events are available right now, you can check my full event guide video which includes every single older event quest that gives you new gear or items in case you missed those. I'll link that down in the description. By the way, we are really close on hitting 20,000 subscribers and I will appreciate it very much if you could help me reach that milestone. Over 85% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so here's a quick reminder just in case you forgot to join the cat gang. So first of all, we have this amazing new event specific armor called Rose. It looks incredibly good but has also decent skills on it. You will need a full bloom ticket to craft it which can be obtained like every other seasonal festival by doing daily bounties or logins for additional spring blossom tickets. There is of course like always a layered version of the armor which requires instead VIP tickets. VIP tickets can be obtained from every single event quest but have a really low chance to be dropped. You can increase this chance by using the rose armor in your hands. The Palico gets also two new event armors, which one of them is the Masarang version of an existing armor that came out last year's spring event. So to craft the butterfly armor and weapon you will need in addition also spring blossom tickets. The second one is a goth doll armor which became my favorite Palico armor in the game. It just looks incredibly cute and is very well designed. There is also a variety of colors and new pendants with a matching design theme. This will make your hands definitely more stylish. Capcom also decided to make one new meme weapon again. This time it's not a steak but a wet fish. To craft this you will need wet fish tickets which can be obtained on the a fish to wet your appetite event quest where you have to deliver large wet fishes. So you have to do fishing, yay! You first have to craft the rarity 9 weapons and afterwards upgrade them into a rarity 11 weapon with stronger stats and will be of course augmentable. They are actually incredibly strong but have also the skill protective polish built in which is mandatory for dual blades since they require true crit element armor. I covered a build video and some showcase runs so be sure to check them out if you are interested in those dual blades. I'll link them down in the description as well. This new cute Downy Craig layered hat will also be available in this festival. You'll need Downy Craig tickets number 2 to craft it which can be obtained by doing the Skyward Snipers event quest where you have to deliver 5 Grandfather Manta Grails. It's those disgusting looking mantas that everyone loved to shoot stones at and get them down for absolute no reason. And finally after the game being out for half a year we will be able to upgrade our Assassin's Mantle. I will maybe cover a separate video on this because it has actually a lot of useful mechanics that a lot of people don't know of. You can upgrade this mantle by doing the assassin's event quest where you have to fight a temperate Nergakuga. So this was pretty much it for all the new obtainable gear and items through event quests. Hope you all enjoyed this short video and have a better overview on what to do on the festival. If so be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next from me. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome guides, builds and speedrun videos. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.